after this it's been a 15 minute surge i don't know what is going on but the energy is still there i could not have written this So good morning and welcome back to another long run video, more long run ASMR for you. coming out right now so we will keep it short and sweet as I always say today is 12 weeks out so this is the end of week one's training goal today two hours that's what I want it's going to be a moderate and steady effort I'll explain why it's two hours on and not more than two hours when we get out onto the run a couple of pre-run essentials so I've had my chocolate spread sandwich that just seems to be something that I'm going for quite a lot lately sits in the stomach well nice and easy and I can have it half an hour before I go out my ketone IQ shot I've had that I chose the caffeine version this morning uh, so that's great and I'll be taking my emergency gel with me also going to slap some of this pure sport freeze roll on the calves and the quads before we get out there so I'm here the trails we're going to get some good elevation in nothing crazy all very runnable I'm going to do part of the cycle track which is what you're seeing a lot of at the moment but I'm going to adapt it so there's going to be slightly more tagged onto it so there we go that's all I have planned today let's get out there let's get after it <laughs> So here we go then, we are three miles in and we're about to hit the good trails. So two hours, why? It's a good place for me personally to start 12 weeks out. I've tinkered with starting more. I've even done two and a half hours 12 weeks out and that was for London 22 and it was a bad move. Um, I've also done less and I find that two hours is the sweet spot because I've got workouts, <coughs> long run workouts coming up that are going to be in and around that two hours, two hours 15 mark and not only mentally does it give you a boost to know that you've done the distance before approaching a more intense workout but <coughs> physically I find that it sets me up uh, for some good shape leading into those workouts and also the difference this time around very quickly there's the hill that yesterday I went up on the fartlek workout if you saw the training series this is the extra way that we're tagging on so we're going down here and we will connect onto the cycle track but going this way means I get an extra mile and a bit and it's more although it's net downhill to the cycle track there's about three lumps in there this makes it a bit more challenging but yeah doing two one hour 45 runs before this as well <coughs> will really help uh, in the past I know the last block anyway and I think the one before I went from 90 minutes to two hours so I really made a point of bridging the gap uh, between not marathon training and starting marathon training and so they were also workouts so it was one hour 45 but not of just steady running it was uh you know some good quality in there as well so because of yesterday's workout and the double threshold on tuesday i didn't want to throw in a back-to-back -back workout uh just going to keep this one steady today and see how we go um so far so good Cruising right now, 6.35 average pace, heart rate's 144, so everything feels really good. I will say, 
this week's been hot it's cooled down the last couple of days a bit we're like 22 23 today but we've had storms humidity is geez it makes me feel asthmatic um and you know you know what humidity is like it just makes it hard to breathe so i won't lie although i'm cruising although the stats look good i'm absolutely not going to be averse to taking uh, this emergency gel i'm approaching in about a mile or so i think i'll hit the bottom of the big hill i'll climb the hill and uh probably have it then Here we go, the turn up onto the hill. 8.3 miles in so far, 6.32 per mile, heart rate solid. It's all about to change. Right, just over halfway, gonna have the gel I think pace is good heart rate's good i feel okay but just like tuesday night in that heat it's tiring it really is tiring and uh, the humidity is sucking the life out of me so i'm not going to risk it i'm not going to be billy big balls and try and run two hours without fuel i know i can but i'm not going to today I'm gonna have the gel it will help at least get me three quarters of the way through the rest of the run as i said i feel fine just it's only fine it's not good and it's not great right just coming up to an hour and 20 in so 40 to go and i'm finally off the uphill section of the cycle track this bit here very marginally uphill but we've got a bit of up bit of down bit of flat now until we get off it then we've got a couple more big hills to go but uh yeah when you're running up a continuous long dragging uphill it can really suck the life out of you grateful for the gel feel a bit more alive now All right, so an hour and 40 in, just coming back into the top of the industrial estate. Seems to have picked up a second wind, which is much appreciated. A lot of that second half of that run was really tough, but I crested over the top of a second to last hill and uh, felt quite good. So I pushed. Um, that energy is slowly going again, but I take it as a, a good five miles, to, um, five minute surge. And uh, yeah, oh, oh yeah, <laughs> stay clear of that. So uh, all good. been a 15 minute surge i don't know what is going on but the energy is still there i could not have written this felt good first half started to fade had the gel got my backside up the other side of the cycle track still feeling okay i've gone from 6.32 per mile average 
up to 641, which is natural. It's always going to go up the other side. Not usually that much. And when I got to the top of that last hill, second to last hill, I've just, yeah, felt really good. So I am one hour 50 in, back down to 635 average per mile. And we're going to finish this one strong. So there we go, back from the long run. Not sure how I pulled that one off, but we did and we'll take it and we'll bank it. That's week 12 complete with around 71 miles logged, which is a really good start. I've mentioned in the training series that I'm actually away on holiday next week. So by the time you see this video, I'll be away and I'm planning on switching off. There may or may not be another video after this talking about the Asics Noosa Tri-16 on the first run. Um, but yeah, uh, as far as I'm aware, like that will be it. And I'm just switching off from YouTube and everything else. And so I'll have a low key week, but the one run that I will do whilst I'm away is indeed the 5 by k so I'm going to give that one a crack and we'll probably take the Noosa 16s uh, for that one and give it a bit of a speed workout. As for the run today, as you can see, I'm out and about getting stuff done before we go on holiday. So just taking this opportunity uh, to give you my thoughts because it's a bit chaotic at home. Really happy with how it started. I was sweating a lot early doors and I knew humidity was going to be playing a part in this uh, run. I didn't think I would feel quite the way I felt around halfway, but I did, and it was just the way it was. And I knew that for sensibility, for sensibility, there's a new word for you, for, for being sensible, um, it would just, it would be a good idea to take that gel. I may or may not have needed it. I don't think I'd have put the surgeon at the end if I hadn't have had it. But I think the reality was is that I wanted to get two hours done. I didn't want to risk anything. I didn't want to get to an hour 30, an hour 45 and feel like I was going to bonk um, and then kind of shuffle it in because I had to do two hours. I'm at a point now where I've, I feel like I've got a bit more of a sensible head on me and I'd have just stopped the run, but then I'd have just been frustrated that I wouldn't have been able to have got the distance done that I wanted to. So I feel like two hours now gives me a good base to springboard on from. The two weeks before, we've got the one hour 45s done with workouts. Today was a straight through moderate. I tell you what I'm really happy about. I have noticed uh, heart rate data has been pretty decent over the last couple of weeks in particular. I feel like I've I've stepped up a little bit there and things are heart rate to pace is a bit lower. So average heart rate for the whole run was 147 and that includes the four miles pickup at the end. So basically miles 15, 16, 17 and 18 are either just below two hour 40 pace or just above it and that really surprised me how good I felt especially considering when I got up to the top of that hill and I had that gel uh, I felt absolutely trash uh, at the top so that's when I had the gel and I was only an hour and five minutes into the run so I knew that that was just the fatigue from coming up the hill but I knew if I left it too much later a gel wouldn't save me so that gel, I think, got me up the other side of the cycle track. When I got back onto the flat, I really felt like I could kick on, uh, kick on and push. I was kind of like umming and ahhing whether to kind of surge at that point. I thought, well, just wait till you get to the top of the hill, the penultimate hill that I had. And if I'm honest with you, when I got over the top, I genuinely felt like a new fuel system had engaged in my body. And I felt like I was really able to kick down and work through the gears. So I just rolled with it and I thought, well, I'll see how long it lasts. It might last five minutes, 10 minutes, but it lasted till the end of the run. And I was really, really grateful. Don't get me wrong, by the time I got to the end, I was tired and I felt like I'd expended everything that I had. But I've been able to, I haven't needed to have a nap, which I sometimes do after a hot long run. I felt full of energy. I haven't gone to the well clearly. And I'm, uh, yeah, doing loads of stuff at home, trying to edit videos, look after the kids, get packed for the holiday. And I'm just not deterred, I'm not feeling tired, which is a really good sign because often I can come back from these runs when I do rinse myself and uh, feel like I need a nap within two or three hours. So yeah, really happy with that. Good start to the training block. As I said, next week is going to be a down week and then we'll be able to relatively get back on with it uh, the week after. I might have two or three days away that week, but that's for different circumstances. Um, and we'll see how we go. After that, I should be kicking back into full system full gear I should say so we'll leave it there appreciate you guys following along with this one if you enjoyed it please do consider giving it a like share it with your friends and of course subscribe to the channel for weekly running content and I'll see you on the next one